Hi guys, my name is Andre and I am from Nectardesk Software. Today I'm going to introduce you to uh, calling campaigns. So many of you were asking us, how can we integrate calling campaigns with active campaign automations? As there are many, many useful use cases for that. Um, for example, if you have a marketing automation when you're doing some sort of a a post-purchase survey, you can not only send an email or a text message, you can as well uh, make a phone call and asking for your uh, for some client feedback. Uh, another use case would be, let's say you're doing um, shopping cart abandonment automation and you would like to follow up with um, whoever abandoned shopping cart, not only by email, but you would like to follow up over the uh, phone call. Another use case would be uh, appointment reminder or any other sort of reminders you would like to, to, to make as a phone call with your marketing automations. And today we're going to demonstrate you. So obviously to run this, you need active campaign account and you need Nectar Desk account. Under the Nectar Desk account, we have a service section which is our uh, automated calling campaigns. And we start normally with a script. So I'll show you an, a, a test example of the script I did set up and we will pretend that we are going to make a post-purchase survey. So whoever completed some sort of a purchase or a client of ours, uh, we're gonna make automated call to them and ask how, how did they like our service. So uh, this is a survey script, or this is a campaign script, uh, where you're setting up uh, what's going to happen when the, uh, when the caller is going to answer uh, their phone. Uh, first, we're going to tell welcome message. Here we support text-to-speech uh, option, as well as it could be a pre-recorded uh, message. Then, in this particular case, you are setting up your questions. For example, on a scale one to five, please evaluate quality of our product. Press A to repeat this question. And you are setting up actions. So you're setting up what's gonna happen if uh, caller press this or that. Uh, you can add unlimited amount of questions. Uh, we recommend not to go over five, uh, just to make sure that people don't abandon it uh, and you use it as productive as possible. Another option here um, is to route call somewhere in case of particular client access. So here's an example. On a scale one to 10, how likely you are to recommend our company? And let's say someone press one. And so someone is extremely unhappy with your product or service. And in this particular case, we want to route this call to support ring groups somebody can actually assist the dude and help them to solve their issues it's very very useful in many cases and then we end at campaign so this is our script now it's time to set up a survey which is actually set and um let me quickly show you what scenarios we have here so first of all we are setting up outbound caller id we would like to use and um as a next step, so we're setting up caller IDs. We are setting up, uh, we are selecting the list. So this is integrated with active campaign lists. So uh, we are selecting list and next one. You would like to, you should select a script. And then we have built in machine detection. Uh, and you have a choice. Right now, we have only one option. Uh, two actually two options what to do if voicemail has been detected it's either hang up call or you can just do nothing so it's just gonna uh, go straight into voicemail and ask all these questions uh, also it could be either one-time campaign or ongoing campaign so if it's ongoing like in this scenario every time you add contact to the test list it's gonna uh, every time you're going to add contact to the test list, it's going to run the campaign, it's going to call. Also, uh, settings for call attempts, so how many times it will try to reach you out before giving up. And a couple, couple other 
options like schedule campaign and set up business hours to make sure you don't call people in the middle of the night. So that's pretty much how it works. Now, how to trigger this campaign? So you see, basically, it's, it's getting triggered based on a list. So all what you need to trigger this particular campaign is to add contact into the list named survey test, which I have in my demo uh, active campaign account. So uh, you can add person to a particular list in multiple ways. So first of all, you can do it through the user interface. Another way, it could be a part of your automation campaign. So based on something, you can add content to a particular list, which will trigger this calling campaign. And I'm going to demonstrate it to you how it works. So we're going to add, uh, I'm going to add myself to this. Uh, we're going to add, I'm going to add myself to the survey test list. And this should trigger automatically a phone call to my cell phone with with the survey now it's, it's usually take up to a couple minutes uh, so as soon as i have a phone call i will demonstrate you what's happening. here's our survey call coming so i'm just going to demonstrate how it works survey please press one to continue so we're going to press one. On a scale one to five, please evaluate quality of our product. Press A to. Okay, so it's going to ask all these questions we set up on in the script. On a scale one to five, please evaluate quality of our service. On a scale one to ten, how likely you are to. Yeah. So. Thank you for your time. Have a good day. So this is how these campaigns are working out. Again, um, many use cases and many scenarios. If you have any questions, any suggestions, any uh, recommendations, feel free to reach out to me directly or to our support team. Feel free to comment under this video. I would be glad to discuss it with you guys. Uh, thank you very much and uh, hope you liked what we have.